Well, you might want to show part of your design uh, on a separate page. We might want to zoom in on the entrance to this community garden where the designer has suggested a couple of display screens are going to go in here. And we would like to show our prospective clients how these screens might look. So we go into our CAD program, create a 3D model of that, push it out to an image editor and then dress it up. We want to keep it within this environment here. So how do we do that? And we want to print not only our overall plan, but this narrow little view. So we can do that by going into our pages and select a page. And I'll just call this one Entrance. So I've created a new page called Entrance, copied that zone that we were just looking at there, and then inserted um, some ideas for a couple of screens. So I'm imagining now I'm trying to get a perspective view. So this screen down here will be in that color. It'll have some uh, elliptical holes in it, a rusty sort of red color with some sort of pattern. And we'll do this one with a green background and some brownish colored holes through it. So I've used an image editor to mock this image up. We can make it look a lot better by putting a gradient representing the sky there and adding some trees from our library and maybe some ground cover plants through here. That's obviously going to be a light, so we could put a light in that zone. Can you see the idea? We can plot this out on an A4 piece of paper for the sake of argument while still having our A1 um, main plan being printed either from the model or we could better still create a new sheet in this environment for our whole design and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Can you see the advantages of carrying lots of pages that come from your drawing and what we've been through before on creating a PDF file can be done for each one of these pages.